Hello guys, welcome back to the sunny coastal region of Coniferia. I'm infrastructurist and you're very welcome on board. Today, really exciting stuff. We're gonna build the region and the city's first ever bus network. And I'm really excited about this because yeah, it's gonna be awesome to see some buses going around and it's honestly pretty fun to plan bus routes and try and maximize their efficiency. And as you guys might be able to see on your screen, traffic's actually sort of bad in parts of the city, especially this main boulevard going to the industrial areas, pretty clogged up. So hopefully we can uh, alleviate some of that in the future with the uh, bus routes. But uh, to start getting some bus routes going, we're gonna segment this episode into two parts. So the first one is um, we need to build a depot and then we need to build a centrally located bus hub somewhere. And I'm thinking this area of downtown somewhere, not the park, because the vote is starting to suggest that we'll actually sell this park off to developers. So within too long, there will be a construction cranes and crew uh, on this lot. So we can't use that, but somewhere in this region, we're gonna build the bus hub. And I'm thinking we're gonna make it really sort of simple, not too much detail because depending on the growth of the city and, and the need for the expansion of the bus network, it, it might need to be, you know, replaced with something else, a different bus hub, a much larger one. So let's just keep it simple. So that's for the first segment. In the second part of the episode, we're gonna place the actual bus routes down and uh, make some stops around the city and it's gonna be really interesting. So I'm thinking that for the first route, we're just gonna make a route out to the town of Tagfield out here and then uh, have multiple stops until we hit like the central part of downtown Pine Harbor. We're gonna start there and then we'll see. So yeah, without, uh, without further ado, let's just get going.
right, let's take a look at what we've got going so far. So the bus depot. Told you guys, I do it pretty light on the detail and I think I've added just enough props and decals to make it look cool. They're getting a, a shipment of some uh, GeForce 4000 series that Nvidia is having a hard time shipping right now. Um, anyways, detail wise, I think this is a pretty good look. I removed the vegetation from the top of this uh, bus depot. It's a really nice feature, but I yeah, it stuck out a bit in this uh, rather uh, rough area. The, both the, the, the bus garage here and these uh, assets are from uh, Blue Thunder. <laughs> I actually got a suggestion to, uh, to look up Blue Thunder in the workshop by uh, the man himself, Daniel Wright. Many moons ago, it was <laughs> in the first episode actually. Uh, so yeah, thank you man for the comment. Uh, you were right, I really do enjoy the uh, assets that Blue Thunder has created. So we're gonna use this theme throughout the um, throughout the, the city of, of Pine Harbor. So yeah, the, the bus depot, pretty happy with that. Let's just pan over here to our bus hop. So, hmm, <laughs> got a bit more mixed feelings for this one. I, I'm pretty sure I told you guys I would do really low detail here as well because we might have to replace this because it's just not big enough if the city keeps expanding. And I'm not sure I would call this low detail live. Not sure what I would call it at all. Uh, added this little extra road so we can access from this complete mess of an intersection here. Um, and it'll be interesting to see when we put in some bus routes whether there will be any queues here because we've only got two dedicated bus stops at our bus hub. So yeah. Uh, and I was kind of thinking that you know most buses that do reach downtown Pine Harbor they should also stop here. Um, that makes sense, I think. But uh, yeah, we'll see. And uh, we'll see about that now, because next up is, of course, just starting to map out some uh, map out some bus routes and get going. So this will be super interesting. I can't wait to see buses around town. So yeah, let's go. All right, so we're about ready. And I cannot wait. Let's start out here in Tagfield. So as I mentioned, I'd like to connect Tagfield by bus uh, first, and then we can look into adding other lines as well. And our tag field is of course already served by some regional rail that we added in the previous episode. So let's see, we'll need a bus stop in the most central part of tag field, which is along Main Street. So let's just add a stop here. And we don't really have any like intersecting towns between tag field and Pine Harbor. So the question, of course, is whether we swing by Danton, the really sleepy suburb of Pine Harbor, or whether we skip it for now and give it a separate line. And I think we're going to skip it for now and then just run this line straight into downtown with a couple of stops, of course. And then we'll see if we can create a dedicated line as well that will also follow this main avenue. But then it will, oh, sorry, let me turn the camera a bit. It's going to branch west through these uh, northwestern suburbs of Pine Harbor, out to Washington Park, and then it can do a little drive-by in Danton. Do a little drive-by, that, that came out wrong. Okay, we're gonna service Danton with some buses, well. but let's let's start here. Okay, so we got the one stop in tag field we need, and I don't think the town has a size currently where we need uh, an additional stop. So let's see, next stop, definitely gonna be serving the high school. Um, yeah, that reminds me, I'm going to show you guys something. Um, I'm giving you guys a free pass now to just flame me in the comments. Not too much because YouTube's just going to hold the comment in review. But look at this. Look at all these poor people. This is a rural highway. Uh, there are barely any sidewalks here. There are no crossings. <laughs> this is people commuting to the high school because my public transport is non-existent um, if we disregard uh, the rail. <laughs> so <laughs> if you're on foot, which many of the students are, because they don't have a car, <laughs> they travel. Uh, we, we <laughs> oh. oh, this is uh, this is some high level city skylines management. So this is not how you do stuff. Oh, 
poor, poor people. But yeah, that <laughs> got me totally out of it. So let's just uh, let's ignore those people for a moment and provide some bus service to the people of Tagfield instead. So we'll stop right outside the high school. Cool. We'll cross this uh, roundabout, enter this modern, uh, this uh, uh, what we call it, Ranger. It's a really modern area. We'll follow this main boulevard, and I think we're gonna make a stop here at the Lakeview Complex, which is also like a really high. Uh, wait a minute, uh, I, I should say high density uh, collection of houses. We should stop here in Ranger as well, I think. Yeah. We are gonna make a stop here as well. Then we are stopping at the Lakeview complex. And now we have to think if we, how do we enter downtown? Let's see, we've got a couple options. We can continue following uh, this, uh, this main avenue. Or we can uh, branch off and go into uh, Sycamore and then enter downtown from a more suburban environment. And I think I would like that because I don't think there's a natural spot for an additional stop here. So let's branch off and actually get us, should we, is that fine? Maybe this is actually better. Yeah, let's get a stop here. And now we need to enter downtown and I'd like to have a stop in here. Uh, this is actually the hospital, so I think that would be pretty fitting. Let's see how long that is from the... It's a bit of a long trip, right, for that stop. So we might add a stop here as well, yes. And then we can stop in here. Let's see. Uh, do we add a stop right here? Oh... I think we do. And then we need to get... So this is like the central road of downtown. Oh, actually this one is. So let's see what we're gonna do here. And of course the bus hub is actually up here. So I guess we could swing by this area of downtown. And go in here. And then... Let me just delete. I can't delete those right now, but that's okay. And we'll see how does it actually oh yikes sorry i just i deleted the other stops i had made that's a bit of a yikes so we'll let this stop here instead because before i had it uh earlier so yeah let's just add another stop here and we'll add a stop at our bus hub and we'll branch back That's funny, it takes a different route this time. Yeah, I don't know, calculation's a little funny sometimes. And we'll add a stop here, and we're gonna get back to Tagfield. And I have a fear that the road connection here is really odd. It is, look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's a little weird, but it's, it's okay for now, I think. We'll add a stop here, and that's it. We'll finish it like that. Cool. So let's just go and check where the things are still messy in here because I'd like to remove this line. There you go. So now we have, have the, the one line that we wanted. Okay. And I guess what's next is to just ride along and see if it... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. No comprende. No, 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 no. We, uh, so we got a couple, we can delete these, I think. This is the real one. And it's gonna be tag field to, uh, what, ah, uh, tag field, we're gonna say downtown. Let's just do it like that. And then we'll pick a model and we got a couple cool ones to choose from. I think we're just taking the, E5, no, that's the double digger. The 
let's go with this one. It looks like it's the smallest one. Cool. And let's see how many vehicles do we need on this road? Uh, that's not 16. Ah, six buses. Let's start with that and then we'll we'll follow up. So we've got one here, so let's just let's just go along for the ride. And we'll just speed it up. So what I imagine is that there are a couple of stops that okay, so this this works relatively nice. I'll see if there, if it's a little too angled. Nah. Looks pretty good. Why are you going this way though? Oh well, the first trip is always a little awkward. Ah, maybe it's got a stop right here. Of course. Nice. So yeah, let's just let's just take a trip, right? Traffic lights. It's got another stop here at the hospital. We're in the northern part of downtown now should make a right here and we do and we got another stop here by these modern uh, row houses we are into the inner city neighborhood of sycamore we got another stop here good 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 should go right here yes we're in the main boulevard we've got a stop here very nice we continue along the boulevard we should have a stop here as well perfect and it's full but it's i think it's the first bus on the line so maybe that we'll we'll have to adjust or see right after let's just check traffic for a short second it's 84. so i'm wondering if a single bus line will make like a, an actual impact on the, on the traffic flow in the city and we're just speeding it up but it, it looks like uh, everything's uh, looking pretty good and then it's it should turn here, but I sus yeah it's gonna drive it's gonna it's gonna turn here. I kind of suspected that usually when the game tells you it's gonna make a little U-turn at like a small road, it actually won't. Whoa! Look at this. Got a ton of people looking to get to the city. Many are going to the school. So it seems that we've got quite a young population here in Tagfield. How many students do we have? Well, we've got 90, 90 children, 16 teens and 82 young adults. And I assume many of them uh, have business in the city and their parents as well, of course. So it's all looking pretty nice, I think. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start detailing up many of these stops, uh, make them more unique, make them look better. And uh, yeah, then I'll check in with you guys when I'm done and uh, we'll get some cool cinematics going. So let's go.